Hi friends, welcome back. David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. In this video, we're talking all about publishing and scheduling your show. Okay, so this is kind of the last step after you've sequenced your lights to kind of bare bones make your show happen. Once again, as we've talked about through all these videos, if you want more in-depth videos that go much deeper than this, cover the caveats, cover each step, step by step, then you definitely want to check out Learn Christmas Lighting Academy, and you can check it out below for just a dollar. Try it out, see if it's right for you. You can cancel it yourself anytime, just click it on your profile po photo, go into your billing info. Um, it's really that simple. So... What we're going to talk about is scheduling. So we've sequenced a song, we've hit save that renders the songs. Okay, now we're ready to publish our show. The cool thing is if we're online, if we're on the network with our controllers, uh, we can at any time turn on the output to lights, click this button, press play, and watch our show go on our lights. Really cool stuff. But to actually run the show during our show time, we actually don't use X lights. There is a program called X schedule that's built in uh, to the X lights installation on PCs, but not Macs. Um, and I think it might be on Linux. Uh, more often than not, I recommend people use the FPP software, which is built into a lot of controllers these days or a similar show player. So in this video, we're gonna show you the basics of that publishing process. FPP device is either a Raspberry Pi microcomputer, a controller with a beagle bone or similar, or just another controller with a compatible show player as we've got some that, that should be coming out here uh, sometime soon. And uh, they all basically do the same thing where all of your controllers, all of your different FPP devices, there can be multiple on your network, all contain, they all download the show files to them and then between them, they, they just pass sync. So you can do it on a wireless network. You can do it on a connection that's not super strong. Um, this is network, not internet, but network. Doesn't have to be on the internet. And you still get really great results. That's one of the many things that's so cool about this software. The other huge benefit to FPP over X schedule is it's not running on a PC. It's running on a commercial style microcomputer. So because of that, if it loses power and it comes back up, it resumes right where it is. It automatically boots when it gets power. Things PCs don't typically do. Okay, so let's get to the how. So you've saved sequences, you've got your controller set up, you've uploaded your configuration, now you're ready to publish your show. You wanna to go to Tools, FPP Connect, this is the easiest way. It will go find all of your different FPPs on your network. Now, at the time of this recording, anything older than a version or two, like this FPP I haven't upgraded in a couple of years, and anything older than the version or two doesn't show up automatically. So do update your FPPs, it's generally a good idea, but if you have older ones, you can go and hit add FPP right here, type in the IP address and add it, okay? You'll see all of your FPP devices show up here. I just have one connected right now. And then you'll have all your sequences shown here. By default, it just shows your show folder, but you can also go to other directories to find your sequences. Check the boxes of your sequences. And then you wanna go ahead and set up your configurations as well. In this case, most of the time, I leave this stuff alone. Um, your FPP device that's playing your music to an FM transmitter or speakers is gonna need the media box checked. It will also be in mode player as opposed to remote if it is the, the kind of master player, the one that is gonna be the main player that plays the music. So you check media there. Uh, models, you typically can leave that alone. UDP out is going to be for any controllers that are connected downstream of that FPP device. Again, deeper than we're going to cover here, check out the Christmas Academy, Learn Christmas Lighting Academy. You can try it out for just a dollar. We show you exactly what you need to know here. And then you can also go with certain playlists and there will be a box here for any connected devices as well, for example, on Culp controllers. All that to say, you know, you basically set up what you want to set up, set up your configs there, and then press your sequences that you want, press upload. Those will then upload to the FPP device, and then you can go test it. Um, so the cool thing about that is, and we've got videos on configuring FPP here, we've got them, we've done them in the past, is now I go to my web browser, I go to that FPP device, I can go find that sequence, and I know I have a bunch on here, and I can play it. Uh, I can also go in the scheduling part, 
is to go create first typically a playlist. So like I have one for Easter here where I typoed it. So it says Eater. And then I would go to the scheduler. I would add a new line, at which point you set the dates. You set what days it happens. You choose your playlist. Boom. You set how it ends. You hit save. And then you're ready to go. And it should be scheduled and ready to go. The great thing about the scheduler is you can always hit this preview button. Right now, I don't have anything scheduled in the future. That's what it shows. If you think you've scheduled something, then go hit that preview and you'll see if you have stuff scheduled or not. And if it looks right, then it is right. The other thing to watch out with FPP devices, and this is not a full FPP guide, is watch your time and date, okay? Is it correct, okay? If it's not correct, you need it either to reference the internet, reference another controller, etc. The time and date being correct only matters for your player, um, not for any remotes. And with that, that really is the basics of scheduling and publishing your show. Um, it's really fun and exciting that first time you send something to your FPP device, you hit play and you watch it happen. It's so cool and I hope it inspires you to do more in this hobby. If you like these videos and you want more, check out my free guide, the four things I really wish I knew before I began with Christmas lighting over at learnchristmaslighting.com. And then also check out the Learn Christmas Lighting Academy. You can try it out for just a dollar. Complete A to Z in order cohesive courses that teach you exactly everything you know to build a display. We'll see you guys in both those places. Uh, plus, we help you one on one in our community forums on the Academy. It's awesome. It works really well. And we'd love to see you there. So we'll see you guys there or in the next video. Thanks.